Alrighty, I, I have been asked about the compensation curve. A lot of people have been asking me to do a video on it. Now there is already a video on YouTube where someone has explained this. Um, there's a couple of things that have been missed. So I'm gonna try and go through that today. I'll try and keep it short and sweet. So for those of you that don't know what the compensation curve is, compensation curve is a function that allows the unit outside to dictate what flow temperature is required at certain times of the year. So for example, if it's warmer outside and we don't need as much flow temperature coming in from the unit, it will automatically alter that flow temperature coming into the property so that it's more efficient because there's no point in overworking the unit when there's not 50 degree flow temperature required coming into the property. So if we go into the engineer setting here, press and hold, if we scroll across to heating and press the tick button, if we then go to the notepad button on the right hand side, we can see three graphs here. We've got a high setting, a low setting, and then an interchange. This just raises the bar up and down. So ignore this one for now. All we want is the high setting and the low setting. Now if we click the button on there, we can see at the moment we've got 45 degree flow temperature at anything down to minus two onwards, okay? What this means is, is that when it's minus two outside temperature, the unit will give you a 45 degree flow temperature. Now in most cases in new build properties um, or well insulated properties, 45 degree flow temperature is more than enough. Um, it depends on what type of emitters you've got. If you've got radiators, sometimes you might want that a little bit higher. Um, on this occasion, we've got an underfloor heater manifold down there. Underfloor, you only really want to run at 45 degrees to 50 degrees maximum. You never really want to go any more than that. But in this case, 45 degrees is more than enough. So you can alter this graph depending on your requirement. If you find that your radiators or underfloor isn't warming up enough, you can increase this here. What I recommend is that you leave this on 45. Um, that's a good point for the next stage, which I'll show you in a minute. So tick and confirm once you've changed that. If we go to the low setting, we've got 30 degrees at anything plus 13 outside ambient temperature. So. 30 degrees is usually more than enough, especially on an underfloor heating application. This is good if you've got a outdoor temperature of 10 degrees, but the property's still a little bit chilly. We don't need 45 degrees on the flow temperature coming into the property. So what we will do is we will set this slightly lower at a higher ambient temperature. That way the unit is not overworking unnecessarily. Now, throughout the year, this will then take care of itself on this graph. It will alter the flow temperature coming into the property depending on the outdoor temperature. Now, if we press the return button all the way to the menu, this number here is a neutral point, okay? So, if we go back into the compensation curve, This figure here, just remember this for now, 45 degrees temperature. This zero is your neutral point. This is currently effectively 45 degrees. So in the winter, if it's still a little bit too cold for you, what you can do is you can increase the degrees. So you can go to plus five. That's now giving you 50 degrees flow temperature into the property. Okay, so you have got a little bit more of a, a manual override, so to speak. Vice versa, if it's a little bit too warm and you feel like you could potentially drop the flow temperature to the property, you can go to minus five, minus six, all the way down to minus nine if you like. So you have still got control over the temperature. Most people are happy once they've set the compensation curve temperatures that they want, um, and most people will leave this on zero. But it's always good, especially if it does get a little bit colder. For example, if we get the beast from the east again, um, you know, 45 degrees may not be enough uh, to, to heat the property sufficiently. So you can increase this to give yourself a little bit extra flow temperature coming into the property so that it's effectively warmer for you. That's pretty much the basic compensation curve settings. If you've got any questions or if you feel like I've missed anything, not explained anything, let me know in the comments below. Hope it helps.